Hello everyone. In this particular tutorial, we'll see the paragraph formatting. That is left alignment, right alignment, justified alignment, and line spacing, indentation, sorting, paragraph, shading, border, numbers, and bullets. Let's see one by one. First of all, we should know about the paragraph group. The paragraph group comes under the home tab. Just click on home tab and you can see there is a paragraph group. So firstly, we'll see the alignment part. If you see on the paragraph group, these four are alignments that is left, center, right and justified. But before that, I need some text. For text, I have to just insert some text here. In Word, I can write a function that is RAND for the random text 4 comma 4. It means I want four paragraphs and each paragraph should contain four lines and I need to just press enter for random text. Now you can see my text is inserted. This is paragraph 1 and it contains four lines. Paragraph 2, paragraph 3 and paragraph 4. Now I'll apply the paragraph formatting on this text. Firstly, I'll see, I'll tell you how to implement the alignment. Left alignment. Just keep cursor here and press this option. By default, it is left alignment. Now see. In left alignment, you can see there is some space left on right hand side. If I'll click on the right alignment, the entire text will come on right hand side. You can see and you can see there is left space before the paragraph. That is, you can see some empty space left hand side because the entire text comes to right hand side. If I'll click on the center alignment option, now you can see the entire paragraph is on center and there is some left space on left hand side and right hand side. We have one more interesting alignment that is justified. If I will click here, now see the entire paragraph is fit in the word document. That means there is no left space on left hand side and no empty space left on right hand side. The whole paragraph is now justified. If you have to justify this paragraph, you don't need to select the entire paragraph. Just keep your cursor within the paragraph and implement paragraph setting. The entire paragraph will set according to requirement. Now come to another point that is line spacing. Suppose I want to increase the space between these lines. For that I need to click within the paragraph or I can click in the beginning of paragraph. After that, you can see there is a drop down menu. Click on this option line and paragraph setting. From the dialog box, you can select any line spacing. That is if I will select 1.15, then you can see at the background the space of line increases automatically. It is 1.5, it is 2 inches, it's 2.5. Suppose I'll set it, I have to just click here. Now you can observe the line space increase for this particular paragraph only because my cursor was on this paragraph. So I'm just pressing Ctrl Z that is undo. So in this way, you can increase the line space. We have some more options that add space 
before paragraph and remove space before paragraph now come to next point that is indentation indent means giving small space in the paragraph or sentences if i'll click on this right indent option you will observe what is happening with text my text is going on right hand side it means small spaces are added to the paragraph sometime you start the paragraph and you want some spaces in the paragraph with respect to the margin so in this way you can give the right indent to your paragraph if you want to bring it back you have to just click on this that is decrease indent now the paragraph will come back to its original position so in this way you can add some space before the paragraph next is sort in word we can sort the data like excel so i have written some sample of data here uh, you can see this is my data i just want to sort this data according to alphabetic orders for that i have to just select it and after that you can see on the paragraph group there is a option that is sort i just need to click it after clicking you will get the sort text dialog box from this dialog box you can choose sort by paragraphs headings and field this time i'm going for paragraphs now it will ask you want to sort text number and date but this time we have only text i want to sort this text according to ascending or i can sort according to descending just click ascending and press okay now you can see my text is according to alphabetic that is apple uh, apple starts with a then b g m and so on if i want to sort this data in descending order again click here and now this time just click descending option and press okay now you can see my data is in descending order the next is a uh, paragraph shading suppose i want to shade my paragraph i want to highlight this paragraph either i can click on the middle of the paragraph or in the beginning of the paragraph now if you want to highlight the paragraph from the paragraph tab paragraph group you have to select this bucket symbol that is the shading and just click on this dialog box you can see the theme color and from this option you can select any color suppose i am going to select this color now you can see my selected paragraph is shaded similarly if i want to shade this paragraph i can do this i'm just pressing control z control z that is shortcut key for undo now suppose i want to give the border to my paragraph so i have to just click here this is borders and suppose i want to give outer border now you can see the border is implemented on my paragraph suppose i want to change this border line so for that click on this drop down option and this time i have to select border and shading from border and shading uh, dialog box firstly select the style whether i want a solid line or dotted line this type of dotted line or i want something else i just want a thick border like this also i can change the color of the border you can see in the preview it's black by default i can select red border also but i need black border and 
I can change the width of the line border. That is, I can change the width this one. Suppose I want this and just click OK. Now you can see the border is implemented on the paragraph. Similarly, if I want to set the border to the page, I can do this by clicking on this border and shading option. This time I want to border on my page. So I have to select this tab page border. After selecting it, I just want to click this option because I want to set the border to the page. After that, if you want this line as a border, then you can select it. Otherwise, you can change the border style. Suppose I I'm going to select this and now this time I want the page border uh, color is red and just press OK. Now you can see the page border is implemented on my document. Next is bullets and numbers. This is very interesting feature of MS Word. Suppose I have the list of fruits. I just want to give numbers to my list. So for that I have to just select the list first and I can give numbers to my list that is 1, 2, 3 and so on. Just click on this option from the paragraph group numbers. I can give this type of number or this. I can also set Roman numbers for my list or I can set ABC for my numbers. Suppose I want this type of numbers for my list. Now you can see number is implemented on this particular list. Suppose I don't want to give numeric values that is 1, 2, 3. I just want to put a symbol before the list. So I need to select this bullet option. Once I click on this drop down menu, then the bullet library will open. From this you can select any bullet. Suppose I want this type of symbol before my list. So you can see the bullets are implemented on this selected list. That's it for this video.